was able to give me the address and I was able to send him that. That was the only instance where she actually responded to me. Other than that, she never asked. Have, have you used your position as a police officer officer to intimidate uh, Miss mm -hmm. Castain? No, sir. Uh, not by any means. Uh, every time that the, the second time that I came to the house that I brought the police with me was so she could feel safe. It was, it was not a form of intimidation. How many times did you uh, request assistance from the police to see your son? Only that one additional time. Uh, based on her reaction and how upset she got, I, I just, I didn't come back anymore. She denied me that time and she made it very clear that she did not want me to come back. I would not be seeing him. She, I would not be seeing him. <laughs> Shout out to Mama Bear Moments. Thank you, Mama Bear Moments. So many of you guys do this. Y'all get frustrated that you can't see your kid. And do you know what you'll do? You'll call the cops. Sometimes the cops will hang up on you. They'll be like, this is a this is a civil matter. You need to go to court. Every now and then, they'll send a patrol car out, see what the hell's going on, tell you to move along. This man called the cops, and he is a cop. <laughs> How desperate do you have to be? I mean, let that sink in for a second. He had to, call, like, y'all call the cops fine. I get it. What else are you supposed to do? He called the cops and he is a cop. That lets you know, like, it doesn't, if you're a man, it doesn't matter what your profession is. And when he called the cops, the cops got there. And do you know what? She still didn't let him see the kid. She still didn't let him see the kid. And he's still a cop. It's not like, oh, well, he did something improper, so they put him on administrative leave. Oh, he did something prop improper, so they fired him. He's sitting there in court in the Zoom hearing with, the, with his uniform on. Right? Guys, it's so tough for men. Right. And and I, I look Ruslan right in the face and I say, Do you think the system is unfair? And he's like, I don't know. I don't know. Jesus Christ, let's go. So in the last three months, how many times have you seen your son? Once for approximately 10 minutes. In three months? Know. Yes, sir. I did. I wasn't able to hold him. I wasn't able to do anything. She stood there and she held him with the police there. Mm -hmm. And I was only able to rub his foot and try to talk to him. Okay. Is there a particular reason why? Um, I don't want to keep stopping this. Let, let's listen, though. Try to talk to him. I wasn't able to do more. She denied me that time, and she made it very clear that she did not want me to come back. I would not be seeing him. Listen to this. So in the last three months, how many times have you seen him? This is very important, guys. Listen, in the last three months, how many times have you been allowed to see your son? Listen, how many times have you seen your son in the last three months? Your son. Once for approximately 10 minutes. In three months? Know. Yes, sir. I did. I wasn't able to hold him. I wasn't able to do anything. She stood there and she held him with the police there. Mm -hmm. And I was only able to rub his foot and try to talk to him. How many times have you seen your son in the last three months? Once. Were you able to take your son to the park when you saw him that one time? No. Were you able to take him to Chick-fil-A when you saw him that one time? No. Were you able to take him to the mall, get him some clothes, get him some toys? No. But what happened when you saw your son? Were you at least able to hold him? No. Your baby mama just stood there holding your son? Yep. She wouldn't let you hold your son? Nope. And you stood there and the only thing you could do was rub your son's foot for 10 minutes. That's your visitation, to rub your son's foot 